talking today to Deji Awakoya, who is the general manager of three radio stations, Beat FM, Niger FM, and Classic FM. Deji, describe to me what those radio stations do in terms of the different music mix that they have. Um, well, the, the Beat is aimed at a sort of a, a younger demographic, and so based on that premise alone, we sort of play more urban contemporary songs. Um, Niger FM is in that sort of the grassroots market and so we play sort of more local content and not just Nigeria but also sort of around Africa so South African music gets in there sometimes the Ghanaian hip life gets in there and, and um, sometimes and Classic FM sort of cuts across all the genres because it's aimed at a sort of older demographic so it's, it's really in the sort of like the over 35s, over 40s. So it's what we might call memory rock. Memory, exactly. Yeah. Um, you, you will, you'll, you'll, you'll get them playing disco at some point. Um, you'll get, you know, you, you'll get jazz. We do have some specialist shows as well, like the jazz is a specialist show. Yeah. So you, you would not normally enter the, the, the playlist. If you want to listen to jazz, you might have to go to on a Sunday at a certain time to listen to jazz. So we have a jazz expert coming there yeah. and talk about it. Um, also, reggae and sort of lovers rock is also a specialist genre, a specialist Program. show. Yeah. But the actual playlist comprises of the discos. Yeah. Uh, help me out here. All the all the popular all music. All the popular right? songs, yeah. pop, um, yeah. hip hop, you know, of the sixties, seventies, eighties, and then um, I sort of early nineties. But after that, yeah. no, no, no new genre, contemporary no stuff. New contemporary stuff gets into them. And. Those three stations, how are they positioned in the in the radio market? Um, like I said, um, the beat is in the younger demographic. So yeah, you, you but, but market position. What's the market position of those stations? Market in terms of um, their their ranking. Oh, okay. Well, the beat is currently um, number. Th well, are we looking at the total? Yeah, we're, we're looking at the chart? total. Yes. Okay, so the beat is currently number three. Yeah. Um, Classic FM is currently number five. Yeah. And Niger FM, because it's only about a year old, is still sort of. It's still in the bottom it's still, right. It's still not even showing up in the radar just yeah. yet. <laughs> but, um, right. So it's at the bottom wrong. But kind of getting there. It's getting there. We will get there. Yeah. Ask me in a year's time. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And Niger was designed to take on. Wazobia. And Wazobia has been there. Un Wazobia has been there uncontested for a while. Eight nine years, and it's a yeah. station that was set up um, for the grassroots. So you know, if you look at the social demographic, social demographic, um, social right, economic yeah. classification, sorry, yeah. it would it would it would be aimed at the D's and E's of society. Yeah. Um, and and you know, we it just needed competition. It, it was the only one in that market. Yeah. Um, we did some research with the businesses and companies to find out, you know, whether there was a space in there, and and it was like. Yes, please come in and give them some, yeah. give them some, give them some, some tough times because you know they sort of became a law to themselves. <laughs> we were talking earlier about um, the move of music online. Yes. Tell me about the. There's, there's a couple of companies, aren't there, that are selling music online in Nigeria? Yes. Um, there's a couple of companies selling music online. The, the the one sort of creating the buzz at the moment is a company called Spinlet. Um and and it's an online distribution model. Really, it's, sort of, it's almost like the iTunes. Yeah. Of Africa, you know, and, and they're looking beyond Nigeria, I have to say, you know, which is good for them. Um, the other, the other company which actually started it was a company called High Buzz, and it was a um, was a, a sister company from um, High TV. Uh, yeah, High TV, which was a satellite pay TV company over here. It was yeah. unfortunately sort of packed up now, but yeah. you know, High Buzz was an offshoot of that, and it was, you know, trying to sort of put some sort of structure in the music in the music place so the artists really can know how many songs they've sold, how many you know, how many CDs yeah. they have, and really get the money that really that they deserve coming to them, which which wasn't happening before. So if something like Spinlet is successful or even half successful, what what will the impact on I, the music I, business be? I think it'll be far reaching and I think yeah. that it, will, it really will revolutionize the market over here. Um, I'm sure there'll be some people who are not happy about it, like the, those who control the black market currently. Yeah. But they, it, it, it really would give the artist a, a chance to exactly know, really, to get to get you know to get the money for their hard work because you know it, it's online. There's, there's no lie. You can't lie to me that you only sold ten thousand copies. There's no piracy involved in it because you can only go to one place to download the songs. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I guess once you have it, you can put it in a CD and then start pirating it. But at least some sort of, sort of, some sort of structure is getting into place so that these guys start to reap the benefits of the hard work they're putting in. 
and Nigerian music is currently going through something of a resurgence, both yes, in the yes. country and outside. And outside of the country. Um, so much so, and, and, and this probably goes back to the, the earlier question you asked me, it's, it's, en it's enjoying a lot of um, popularity outside of the country, so much so that you have Nigerians in the States who've set up websites just to promote African music or Nigerian music because those guys over they need access to it. So there are websites called Not Just OK, for example, who all they do is just put all the new artists out there, the songs out there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it is a journey of popularity. You've got the guy, you know, like I, I was talking to you earlier about um, the band, who is yeah. who whose song, very much an African song, a Nigerian song, yeah. on the on the singles chart in the UK. He got played um, on EastEnders the other day. Oh, okay. Background music, yeah. which is you know you've arrived. You've yeah. played on EastEnders. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I and I believe that also it was the theme song for the um, countdown yeah. um, to New Year. Yes, that's yes, right. Yes. yes. So you know, yeah. so it, 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 it's enjoy, it's enjoying popularity. I mean, he's been signed yeah. to good music recently now in the states. Yeah. So he's got Kanye West pushing his songs. Yeah. You've got the Peace Square Boys who signed a who signed a, um, a, a Universal deal with South Africa. Yeah. Um, that, who are much more popular, who are much more popular around, around, the around the exactly yeah. around the continent, and also they've got a, a strong affiliation with the actual Universal parent company in the states. Yeah. So you know that you're protected, and there's going to be at least some legal structure protecting you yeah. from any sort of you know wrongdoing. Um, You've got the guys at Chocolate City who've signed up with Convict. Yeah. Um, you've got the EME guys doing, you know, so it's... it's yeah, it's, things are music, Yeah, the music is a huge driver, I have to yeah. say, for sort of, you know, for the economy and the country itself. Sort of putting Nigeria on the map, you know. Yeah, much like the, the Nollywood Much movies. like the Nollywood, yes, but yes. in a better light, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Deji, thanks for talking to me today. Nah, the pleasure's yeah. all mine.